Oh, I saw a Playboy. Oh my god, this man is in love. Oh, should I get a knock? Where do I zoom in? Ah, there we go. Man's looking at a playboy. <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? He was not there before. I'm in the barrel. Are they shooting at me? Yeah, they're shooting at me. Bruh. We're just gonna roll with it, I guess. Is he going back to the Playboy? Damn, night vision mode has great FPS. <laughs> Ooh, a sniper. Oh, how do I get that? Who's that? I just want to try and get the sniper, bro. <laughs> it's gonna keep happening. I don't know why they keep coming over here like anything is gonna change. <laughs> I 
come in, we're under attack. Guys, you might want to get things going over here. Wake up. Bro, what the fuck was that? Under attack. Oh, this is perfect. Wait, right there. Ugh. Oh, it's locked. Uh. Drop in. Stone smoke. If I buy it, it'll be unlocked, right? the stun. There you go. www.stun.com <gasps> You bitch. Why? I thought it was like fucking Metal Gear 3, not... Okay. Snake, you suck at this. <laughs> Why are you throwing overhand? Oh, you just ruined it. You ruined it. Fine. They still don't know I'm here. <laughs> they still don't fucking know I'm here. How many of them are there? I want to get the sniper rifle. How do I get the sniper rifle? Hearing so many noises. Here we go again. <laughs> ah. ah? Who? Who that? Ah. Ah. Huh? Who? Huh? <laughs> huh? Who? No, 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 no. You guys are fine. HQ. You guys did not spot the enemy. It's fine. Oh, I gotta reload. Hold on. Come back. <laughs> this is the game now, guys. I want you to know. They're all sleeping. They're gonna stay sleeping. Huh? What? Oh, here they come. Join the pile, good sir. Sleep over. <laughs> there you go, that's how you do it, boys. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many. There's so many of them. How do I fucking... Ah, oh, yes, I got it. Sniper rifle acquired, baby. Alright, snake eater bitches. Somebody say cheese. I'm gonna take a picture, okay? Fight the snorefest. Alright, everybody say cheese. W. Family pick. Family pick, guys. Love it. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. We've got company. Ah, oh, the rebels, they're fighting. Oh my god, they're all waking up. They're all waking up. <laughs> Suppressing fire. Back me up. 
Here you go again, dude. <laughs> money can buy <laughs> uh they're doing great you know you gotta really give them credit doing great forgot this time oh somebody woke up oh hello snake there's someone i'd like you to meet a member of the mission staff a psychological counselor psychological counselor a lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary! Ooh, she! Hey, girl! Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Hi, yeah. Rosemary. <laughs> she was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? Oh that, my god, her? Psychology. Never mind, get now the fuck out. No, Rose, no. No, we don't need your help. Platoon. I don't need you to fucking yeah, grill me right now. Psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity. Uh. Dude, she's legit in the middle of coming. I'm gonna be like, wow, Snake. Acting as your personal counselor You're so mission. selfish. <laughs> Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of Ugh, its soldiers. God damn it. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology she's back from to a ruin threat shit. assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147. Point seven nine. Okay. Yeah. Her right. advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel... Isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Meryl was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. Aww. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. This is She's so weird. I don't want to talk to this man anymore. Yeah. Lucky me. Huh? Ew, that's so <laughs> gross. Now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me oh girl yeah, meryl i, I see i understand were. now I'll girl never forgive that womanizing piece of shit i see colonel 
This is disgusting. You knew she was our informant <laughs> in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Meryl the job. You wanted your daughter Yucky. someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Meryl and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Meryl wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. Uh -huh. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice. Gross. I'm disgusted by both of them. Fuck Rosemary. I don't need to fucking hear from her being like, Oh my god, Snake. You're doing a shit-ass job in the middle of war. Uh, gross. Gross, 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 gross. <laughs> oh man. Why are there so many guinea pigs out here, bro? Hey. People are waking up. People are waking up. Poor Jack, though. For real. Man had a rough ass time. And then he lost his girl. Uh, but, like, you know, that's a good. I feel like that's a good thing. Because this girl was a fucking piece of work. Lost his girl and then to a fucking 40 year old. I don't even know how old he is, but he's fucking old. It's gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> You're welcome, Rebel. Doing you guys a favor. Oh, those are rebels. What are you guys doing? I don't want to shoot you. Get along, please. Get along with your day. What are you guys doing? God. Hey. Split up. <laughs> We've got couple. You okay? You know, I should really just kill these guys, shouldn't I? Oh, he fell asleep. an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Not this shit again. It does sound like... I, I thought it sounded like Raiden, but as he kept talking, it sounded deeper. Maybe his balls dropped, but like... Also kind of had like an accent to it, so I wasn't sure. Also... Over there! Careful! I thought maybe it might be that guy... Uh... Who, um... Uh, okay. The guy. What's his name? The guy that, that called us randomly in the first game and ended up helping us in the end of everything. Anyways. Oh no, my boy! He died! Hi, Snake. PMC sniper. Oh, keep your eyes peeled. There's a keep sniper. Low and stay cover. Oh no, I'm screwed. All right, you guys are over for rebels. Sorry. 
Gray Fox, that guy, yeah. See, look, that's bullshit. There's a whole fucking... There's a whole war going on. Why is one bullet They're like, ah, shit. That snake's gun, I know it. <laughs> that gun's not ours. Okay, bitches, I'm helping you. Guys, go. Look at you guys hitting things. You guys cover, don't you worry Snake, about it, guy. You what? don't know which way to go? No, I know Check your radar. It'll tell you where to go. I know which way to I know what I'm doing, boy. I'm helping these boys out. Jesus. Clearly they don't know how to fucking kill things. I gotta sit in the war without fucking knowing how to handle a gun. <laughs> how to fucking aim straight. Oh, I gotta reload. Shoot him, look on, shoot him. Fucking I blow up the, the truck or something? Or, let's see. Weapons. I know I have a javelin now. Uh. Can I blow up the... Do they just trust me now for shooting their enemies? You enjoy all the killing. Go, go, go. I'm sorry. Who are you? Can I help you? Ah! Who the fuck? Did I just throw up? I did. What the fuck is happening? Are you okay, Snake? Yeah, the rebels love me now. Look at it. Fucking. we homies. Hurting. <laughs> oh, God damn it. This guy loves me.
All right, I need to relax. What are they blowing up? I'm sorry, wait, what did he just say? <laughs> what did he just say about blowing something up? I'm sorry, did I hear that right? <laughs> Bitch! Sorry, what is happening? stressed on but I don't know if that's even possible right now. Are they blowing something up? What is happening? Are you guys blowing things up right now? I wanna be a part of that. Okay, uh, you guys keep fighting. I'm gonna just chillax for a second. Don't mind me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nick is very stressed. He is too old. My poor man out here. He's struggling. Uh, I think, I think we're helping the rebels, though. I think we're doing pretty good. I just need to have Snake relax for a second. Let's get rid of the javelin. We did, we did, it! We did, it! did we kill them all? Did we do it? Oh, you again. Oh my god, they love me. You're oh my... on our side. Oh my god. Look, I'm a homie now, guys. Oh, it feels so good. You're welcome, guys. I'm glad we murdered all those bitches. I like how they don't even question it. They're just like, hey, he's helping us kill these guys. So. <laughs> uh, what a bunch of homies. I'm gonna miss them. Uh, maybe actually I should look around real quick. And, uh, yay, we did it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look around real quick, see if there's anything I can pick up. You know, he does need a long break after this. His cigarettes look so sad. They're all like, oh. Oh, hey, Drebin. <laughs> Fucking monkey, bro. The fuck? In a way. <laughs> Fucking monkey smoking. <sighs> Yo, over here. It's good. Got some goodies for me? You. Come on, hop in. It's getting rough out there. I don't think so. See, keep it watching. <laughs> Those guys? A lot of legends about you out there in the intel community. Especially <laughs> this fucking monkey, bro. <laughs> especially in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. <laughs> huh. What is happening? Monkey's freaking out, guys. Figures. The B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. Their squad oh. of enhanced female soldiers belong to the PMC. What are they fucking Valkyries? Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. 
That's a female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMC. Kinda hot. They run out of a separate <laughs> parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drevin to let you in on a few things. Getting some lore. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B and B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. <laughs> uh, old, uh. Yeah, we do look a little old. <laughs> Cheer up. That's the bad news. He's tired of hearing it. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They <laughs> suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast. That's what you see on the outside. <laughs> it's like a little kid. It transforms a snake into beasts. Hmm. War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. All these eggs, bro. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain and all the fury. And all the sorrow. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Which makes these <laughs> names all the fucking characters in MGS3. With killing you. Four B and Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, Master of Mimicry, Crying Wolf, Chipper's Four Legs, and finally, the Mistress of Mind Control, Screaming Mantis. Good to know. Mantis. Aging Raven, Scream Mantis. Yeah. They used to be Something a octopus. By that name in the US military. Crying octopus. Laughing octopus. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B and B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound unit. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Drebin. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no Lale Lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Patriot. <sighs> you could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean. Right. The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are former. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America. The world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning. But now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own. Yep. 
The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriot's AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Thanks, dude. I'll borrow your monkey. <laughs> he wants one. Give it to him. Go. <laughs> but the monkey wants a cig. Go on. Get your ass back inside. Now. How rude. <laughs> I have. You. Bye, Drevin. Always a pleasure, that man and his monkey. We we love him. <laughs> I have you. Have your mama, Drevin. Got your mama. Does the Playboy work for the rebels? I'm curious. Works on Snake, actually. Here, well, I'll put it somewhere where the rebels can see it, though, because, like, they my homies, and I, I'm gonna share. Rebels! Anyone home? Ah, oh, here we go. Explaining? Uh, cool. ah, what the fuck? I did you a favor, my boy. You just ruined it. I was gonna get a glance, and you fucking. I'm, I'm never sharing again, bro. Ah, uh, man. I just wanted to look at some tatas. Can I like? Ubas. Snake's not saying anything. Does it make my stress go down? Because that'd be funny. No. 
Guess not. <laughs> uh, I'm just laying on the yiddies. 